Hi there, Sagittarius. I'm here to get you some tarot messages for today. Let's look into the energies of your person. We'll see what's going on with your person. What do the cards have to say today? We have Judgment. Ten of Sword. Queen of Pentacles. Knight of Cups. Hangman. Nine of Wands. Queen of Cups. Four of Cups. All right, so there's something, something your person needs to change here and something they need to express, something they need to end, something they need to get over um, and let go. Um, because there's there's a new direction here. There's some action that needs to be taken here. Uh, and your person's figuring out what that action is. Uh, they know they need to end something. Like spirit has given them uh, the directions here. Okay, this is what you need to let go of. Uh, so they know it. They're aware of what they need to let go of um, in order to move forward, in order to offer you uh, the life that you deserve. They want to offer you everything here. You know, Queen of Pentacles wants for nothing. Um, and they want to take action towards this. They do want to offer you everything. They do want to offer you that cup. Take an action. Uh, I feel like they're formulating the words. They're they're um, getting through to the other side here. They're 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 doing the work here. Um, and they know they want to offer you this this Queen of Cups. You know this action. What they want to what they want to um, what they are um, what they're offering you and the action they're taking here. Uh, you know, they're, they're offering you nine of wands. They're offering to put in that energy, that extra effort to get through to the other side, to uh, formulate the words to tell you how they're feeling. You know, they want to, the action they're taking is queen of cups. It's like, yeah, the, yes, they, they want to, they want you to be the queen of cups, the queen of pentacles. They want you to be full of love and happiness. And they want you also to be fulfilled with everything you know all the you know the love passion money you know the luxuries whatever that is um and the and the the knight of cups is is that offer actually taking the action here because things are not as they seem in your person's emotional world you know they're they're not um they want to offer you this cup. It's interesting. This cup is is full. There's one full cup on these four cups. Um, so they're they're trying to see the bigger picture here. You know, you can look at a um, this glass as half full or half empty. Uh, so your person is learning to trust, like learning to look at the glass um, half full uh, versus half empty. Um, the judgment is is showing your person how to deal with this. Uh, Nine of Swords, yeah, this is like get, overcoming this, okay? Overcoming the overthinking, thinking too much, worrying too much, um, not you know looking. Okay, so this Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords could be maybe looking at the glass half empty, um, but your person is learning to change the way they think here. Um, you know, under here we have the judgment. So the judgment will help give your person clarity um, on releasing, on how to release <clears throat> overthinking or worry that they are not capable of, of the, um, they don't have the stamina or something. They're, they Because they have it here. They have the nine of wands. They want to give you um, that, that, the effort that you deserve is what I'm getting here. We have the temperance card here. So, yeah, your person is healing their mind and they're soothing their mind. I feel like they soothe their mind when they think of you and they dream about life with you and having, you know, living and buying that home together, moving in together and, and decorating and, and just, you know, joining your, connecting your talents and, and your, um, 
you know, your vision, your, um, what kind of, um, what kind of furniture do you want? How do you want to decorate? Like, what is the, I'm getting like a picture on the wall, you know, like what kind of, um, artwork do you like? What kind of artwork does your person like? And maybe even making your own artwork, you know, creating together, being, um, you know, being inspired to, um, maybe paint a mural or something together in your new home. It's like, you know, um, there's, you are like your person's muse and you, your, your person is your muse and together you can really, uh, make something beautiful and you have everything you need to do just that. Uh, we have the hangman again. So yeah, your person's thinks and dreams and sees like you moving in together and like all the things, you know, how you will furnish your part or your apartment or your home or, you know, it, you know, home is where your heart is. Um, and your person loves you. They're going to offer you this cup here. They think about it a lot here. We have eight of swords here. So it's like they're mulling it. It's all mulling around in their mind here. Cause you got hangman here twice. And this hangman is in your person's, um, <clears throat> thought space what they're thinking so they're thinking about this they're thinking about this happy home with you um but they they're gotta you know get it out you know that that actual action versus the the eight of you know eight of swords is saying all right we're not quite ready to move we don't feel like we can move yet um you know hang me out. it's like pausing to reflect then pushing forward and then pushing through here. Nine of Wands is very much um, a determination. So, you know, there's a lot of thought going into, um, you know, this new life that they're they're creating in their mind with you. And then they can push forward, you know, make that change, leave the old behind. Five of Pentacles is leaving the old behind for me. You know, Five of Pentacles is is just leaving it behind. Um, it's interesting that uh, the, the key word on this particular deck is cultivation. So cultivation, the definition in my own book is, you know, just, um, nurturing, you know, planting seeds and nurturing them because there's beauty here. You know, there's a glass half full here. Um, and when we start looking at it that way, um, we're, we're more, um, we have more energy, like this nine of, of wands feels like strong energy, determination to get through to the other side. Yeah, we have the king of wands here. So yeah, there's passion to create. Your person sees that. They're, they want to, you know, you're like their muse. They want to sing songs to you. They want to create with you, make music with you, make art with you. Um, even just, you know, furnishing a home together. It's like, do you, what colors do you want? What's the color theme? You know, what's the... I'm getting, I'm still getting that picture on the wall. It's like a blank canvas. Right now, your relationship is a blank canvas to be filled in by the two of you, by your love and by your creativity here. We have the emperor energy here. So another four. So these fours, you know, fours are about stability. So this relationship is stable. Uh, whether you, you are communicating about it or not or talking about it, um, things are stabilizing. Yeah, because here's the union card. Two of cups here in this particular deck is called the union card. So the two of you belong together. Um, it's happening. Um, your person's thinking about, yeah, that beautiful new home uh, that the two of you are about to uh, move into. All right, let's close with our um, an oracle message today. We have leap of faith. Be guided by your instincts, be brave, and leap with faith and belief in yourself. You have much to offer. These are the messages that the universe wants you to hear today. Repeat this mantra. I trust my intuition. I have faith in the universe. There is an infinite potential in each moment. Peace be with you. Bye now.